real music has. This is Pops and Scratches. Final Voyage Radio. Hi there. Welcome to the Vinyl Voyage Video Podcast. I am Bruce Janu, and we have a rarity for you from 1973. Now, in the early 70s, late 60s, there was this trend of adding spirituality to popular music. And of course, people were flocking in droves to see Jesus Christ Superstar and Godspell, and you could hear a lot of this in some very popular music, such as The Birds, Turn, 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 uh, Jesus is Just All Right by the Doobie Brothers, Spirit in the Sky, and so forth. And every song on this album. This is a band you probably have never heard before. The band is Meadow, and the album, The Friendship. Now this is their first and only album. It didn't get a whole lot of play, but it really captures that sentiment from the early 70s. It took me a while to find this album. I got it on eBay and the seller described it as hippie rock. Well, I guess you could get that from the image of the band here. They're kind of floating in the air, hands held tight as they are you know, walking up to the friendship, I imagine. Yep, there they are and you could tell, you know, very hippie-like in terms of their outfit. They have ecstasy on their faces, uh, except for this guy. He's not quite sure he wants to go, but I think peer pressure is getting the best of him. Now, I got this on eBay, and it was originally owned by a radio station in New Jersey, WJLK. You can see here, wherever you go, there's radio, WJLK, of course, and there's a date here, November 20th, 19. 73. This is actually a promotional copy that was given to the radio station by the uh, promoters, Famous Music Corporation. That's that promoter that would doom Meadow. Um, in the end, they had problems with the, you know, with the label and so forth, and that doomed the band. But the band was made up of Walker Daniels. Uh, he actually got a start on Broadway and was on the original cast recording of hair and uh, Chris Van Cleve these were the two main songwriters Bob Valdez there uh, played bass and this person here is Laura Branigan yes this is Laura Branigan's first band she was only 15 when this album was recorded she turned 16 in 1973 and there she is there I understand she really didn't talk too much about this band in the subsequent years and it was fully almost 10 years later when she had her number one hit Gloria so we're gonna listen to a few songs from this album this is a concept album that explores themes of spirituality and life it's broken up into chapters and the chapters go by the names the first chapter in the beginning, when you were young, followed by the illusion, the game, the street, and the question. Then side two begins with the dream, the road, the celebration, in the end, the word, and in the beginning. And that last song is Home Free, the friendship. And each of these chapters has a song that goes along with whatever theme they are delving into at that moment. We are going to listen to the first song on side two from the chapter entitled The Dream. This is a song called The Artist. It was written by Chris Van Cleve, and he was originally set to sing this song on the album, but instead, Laura Branigan does. And this is really one of the best songs on the album. Let's take a listen. This is The Artist by Meadow, featuring Laura Branigan. Pleasant scene 
So that was The Artist, featuring 15-year-old Laura Branigan on vocals. The next song is a song uh, in which Walker Daniels sings the lead. It's a song co-written by Walker Daniels and Chris Van Cleve. And this is the song that I'm familiar with because I heard this song back in the early 70s. And it's kind of funny how. See, uh, the lunchroom lady at my elementary school, she held a Bible day camp during the summer for about a week in her garage. And all the neighborhood kids, at least the kids on the block, went and we did crafts and things like that. And she had handed out one day a 45. And on that 45 was a song by Meadow, this next song called Cain and Abel. Now, I don't know what happened to that 45. But the song has always stuck with me. I only heard it a few times, you know, throughout the years, but it was a song I never forgot, really. And so here it is. This is Cain and Abel, featuring the vocals of Walker Daniels. As I went on my way I saw a man walking He started to smile I said sit for a while He sat and we started to talking 
He said, would you mind, I'd like to borrow your time Well, time was the only thing that I owned I told him he could take it freely I said it was sad, it was all that I had He said that it's all you need, really He said if you would only dare to listen I'll show you all of the joy you've been missing It's all waiting for you on the other side Then he said Throw away your cane And you are able Pack up all your love and come along We've set a place for you at our table Won't you come with us and help us sing our song? Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come and thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. He said you can find it if you learn to read between the lines. I said, show me where He said, don't despair When you find it, no one can steal it He said, turn it around Look down on the ground You're on it now, can't you feel it? Then he said That it will be done And he said A new kingdom comes He said, it's been there all along Right before your eyes Then he said, throw away your cane and you are able. He said, pack up all your love and come along. We've set a place for you at our table. Won't you come with us and help us sing our song? He said, sing for love and no more sorrow. Sing about where we're gonna be tomorrow We said we had to live on borrowed time band meadow i know pretty cheesy (laughs) but that's really kind of the magic of this album really this album is really really quite good maybe a little bit ahead of its time in many respects but it's kind of catchy there's something about it that i kind of like and it never left me when i first heard it the only remaining member of meadow still around is chris van cleef uh, the others, unfortunately, have passed away. Laura Brannigan died a few years ago from a brain aneurysm, and shortly after this album was released, Walker Daniels uh, got into a bad place, and uh, he ended up uh, committing suicide by jumping off of a building. Now, Chris Van Cleve has a website. It's chrisvancleavemusic.com, and he has a whole lot there uh, detailing the history of this band and all of the songs as well. So I... I encourage you to check it out, chrisvancleavemusic.com. This album is not available on CD, but it is available for digital download. I believe it's on iTunes and perhaps the Android market too, and it's really worth listening to. And you can hear that song and several others on Vinyl Voyage Radio. And uh, we play music 24-7, all on glorious vinyl. You could also check us out at vinylvoyage.blogspot.com. And you could like us on Facebook. Like us on Facebook, and you'll get updates on what's happening here at the radio station. Thanks for listening to this episode of the Vinyl Voyage video podcast. I am Bruce Janu. And uh, keep living your life at 33 RPMs. See you next time.